Welcome to Omnia Health Live. This is the welcome page you should see on your screen when you received an email from no reply at live.omnia-health.com. The email would contain a username and one-time password, which is referred to as batch ID or registration ID on your email. When you click on login, it will ask you to enter your username, which has been identified as the first email that you have used username. When you click on login, it asks for your batch ID or registration ID. This is exactly the way it is spelled on the email. You can enter your batch ID or registration ID, which is only a one-time password, and click on claim account. When you say claim account, the system understands that this is the first time you are logging in and asks you to set up a bespoke password that you want to use in the future. After you have entered and confirmed your password, you create your account. This is what happens only for the first login, after which it takes you to a screen and welcomes you with a pop-up to complete your profile. At this stage, the system under your personal profile has not been filled up to the mark. In case if there are fields that are empty here, or if you want to edit, it's very important that we enter this information in the context of allowing the system to use our networking. If I enter the country that I belong to, I can quickly look for the country that I am um, networking from. This is also important because other users will be able to see where I am based and what um, kind of products I deal in or I'm interested in. These categories are common to our exhibitions. So if you have exhibited at one of our shows in the past, you will notice the similarity um, in the categories, in the product type, etc., that you must have filled in the past for one of our shows to get your catalog entry or get your entry into the mobile app. Once you have selected all the relevant categories for yourself, you may choose to enter your mobile number or phone number. The mobile number and phone number is not published anywhere on the platform. It is kept completely um, safe and secure. However, if you choose to enter your number, we may use it to let you know if you have a meeting pending or give you um, information from Informa about other future offers that we have around digital. In terms of industry, you will have to select the industry in which your company belongs. So say I am a dealer and distributor, I select that nature of business. Again, these are key metrics in giving that information to the system to help me match make better with um, across those 10,000 plus visitors that are already in the system. Once I have filled up my profile and I'm happy with it, I click on next. At this stage, the system is telling me that I will have to go in and set up Teams. This icon is crucial because only when you're logged in as an exhibitor will you be able to see this icon on the top right corner of your screen. This icon means that I am the administrator and I have the access to set up my team. I'm going to enter my company name as the team name because I can have max up to 10 exhibitor representatives attached to my team. My company name here in the sake of example, Healthcare INC. I'm going to start attaching everybody as a team member to this. I am the administrator and I will start inviting my colleagues to this team. Once I click on next, the last option, but that's also very important, is that the system is asking for my consent to take my usage data. Why it is important is because the system is built on artificial intelligence and wants to read my behavioral patterns. That means if I'm skipping certain kind of profiles or avoiding certain kind of profiles, it will ensure that the same profiles do not show up again and again on my screen. If I am interested in initiating meetings with certain kind of profiles, then the system understands that my interest lies in profiles that come from certain geographies or match certain demographics. At this is very important before I can start networking. If you choose not to give this consent, you will not be allowed to network in the future. So once I accept this, I can start networking. After this, there are two ways at which I can start off. One, I can get, I can start through the left side panel, which is common to all exhibitor representatives, all your team members. Also visitors get exactly the same uh, options on the left panel. I may also start by setting up teams. However, notice, a notification has come up on your screen which says that the system understands I still have a few blank fields on my profile and only if I fill in further um, the system will be able to give me value, valuable recommendations, valuable matches. 
So let's take an example of what happens if I want to set up my individual profile further. I click on my profile and from here I can add in other details. For example, I can add in my job title, maybe change my headline to um, um, managing uh, sales teams at healthcare INC. Um, so that's my headline. Remember, your first name, last name and your headline it is what is available to other users to see at first glance in recommendation. Um, my company name, I could enter my company name here in case if it is not there already. I could enter my location, which may be a combination of my city and country or I may choose to enter my county, state, etc. Again, this is visible in the first glance. I may choose to write a summary about what my past has been in case if I'm a speaker or if I'm a thought leader in the industry, I might actually make use of this section. I can also manage my own calendar from here, manage my availability, try and uh, move around things, block days. If I mark my whole day is busy, this is how my entire day gets blocked. Um, I may also change my username, change my password from these options. Um, and you can take a look at a privacy policy etc here at, on the left side um, i want to take you through teams which is very crucial because this is only available to the administrator or the first person who is logged in on behalf of the exhibitor when you enter the teams section it gives you a prompt that i can start inviting other team members as either a team member or an administrator if i invite a fellow colleague as a team member then that colleague will only be able to manage their personal calendar that means they will be able to accept, decline or initiate meetings, show interest, um, make connections on an individual level. If I make them an admin, then they will be equally responsible, just like my access here, to create their company profile, to add products, to make extracts, to, um, to assign leads, etc. I just have to enter the first name, last name, email address and job title of the person I'm wishing to invite. That colleague of mine will receive an email, automatic email from inside of the platform with a link to enter with a one-time password exactly the way you enter the system. Let's assume I do not have a colleague to add at this moment. Let's go through other options that is available to you as an exhibitor. Um, first one, which is the most common and one of the most important pieces for you to start getting inbound leads for your company. That means to start attracting interest from fellow visitors or exhibitors on company profile. Um, you can click on company profile, add the name of the company, add the headline that is applicable to that company. So for example, Healthcare INC has been um, 20, 30 plus years of distributing um, healthcare disposables um, and that would be a good headline for them to be again remember the name of your company and the headline of your company is visible on the first glance you can also enter an icon you can upload an icon a logo of your company you can choose the file and select one of the images that you want to go with um, in case if you are having issues in uploading images, etc., we will give you a support email address that can help you um, upload that on your behalf. Company type, again, this stands for what company type is this um, into. We are dealers and distributors, so I select that and I click on update. If I think more than one fits into the company type uh, criteria, I can select multiple. I am based out of... Um, out of USA or I'm based out of UAE, for example, I can select um, that company. Uh, maybe I should actually change this to. Um, I can upload a sales brochure, so I can actually. The only thing is, in terms of uploading a sales brochure, you have to ensure you have to have a PDF um, link. That means you have it uploaded on an open um, URL, and then you can update that URL here with the um, and click on add, and that that brochure automatically becomes visible on your company profile. You can also add in a, a video URL in case if you have a video covering your um, company and its activities or you have a portfolio video covering your products, you can, you can include that video and embed it. You can click on learn how and it will take you through two quick steps on how you can embed that video on your company profile. Product sector, product category and product type again take you through the three levels of product category that you want to select for your company. So we are into medical equipment and devices, um, 
and emergency bags and doctor's cases, maybe those are partly disposable and other options that fit into uh, my profile at level three. Once I have made the right selections, um, I do not need to save. It automatically keeps updating and this becomes real time visible to other visitors. I can type in my specific location if I want to say I am from a particular area, like for example, I am from Dubai in United Arab Emirates. I can continue to do that and this location is uh, independent of the country. So I can enter a summary of a company. We have been uh, established since um, established since 40 plus years and so on and so forth. There is no character limit here, but you should use the terms that are most important for a visitor to learn about your company. Again, all of this feeds into the artificial intelligence system. And that's why it's important that the terms you use are uh, matching with uh, the terms that are used by visitors in the other part, parts of the world so that they can see your profile and actually find your hit under recommendations. You can also start adding new products. When you go under product, um, you choose to add a new product. You can click on add product and um, it will give you a blank, a blank page where you can add an image for the product, the name of the product, a headline for the product, the categories to which that, that product is attached to, um, the location from where you can make this available and maybe a quick description of the product in terms of specifications, maybe quantities. Um, you can write all of those down here and click on add. Um, as soon as you start clicking on add, you will start seeing that they all start becoming visible here one by one uh, in boxes. You can go into account and see that you have already been assigned a basic plan. If you have purchased a pro or a premium plan, then this would appear here under pro or premium. At any given point of time in the future, if you feel like you are falling short of leads and you need to go in and purchase a plan immediately, you click on upgrade now. When you click on upgrade now, the system takes you to a page where you get to select which plan you would want to take for your company. Um, it's important you see that the maximum event leads are capped according to the ones that we had offered to you at the beginning of the show. You may choose to select upgrade uh, by clicking any of these plans you, it'll take you to a payment portal on which you have to provide your credit card details and your plan will immediately be activated as soon as your payment has been authorized after after selecting the right plan the other options that are available to an admin member is um is to set up smart calendars now i can i may choose to um I may choose to manage or I may choose to remove other colleagues from my company. That means I may choose to deactivate a certain colleague. I may choose to manage their individual calendars. I can use this smart calendar link to share my availability with clients that are outside of the platform. They can have a quick view at my meeting schedules and my fellow colleagues meeting schedules and choose to set up a meeting with one of them inside the system. This is also another way through which you can ensure they um, come into the system. They get invited into the system. Inbound leads helps me see how many leads have come in for my company. I can already see there has been interest for our fellow colleagues of mine from different parts of the world and I might have actually uh, reached my limit of the total number of inbound leads I, may, I can generate. In case if this happens, the system immediately starts blurring future inbound leads and allows you to click an upgrade. Um, again, you can filter these leads by fellow team members. You may also filter the source of these leads. This means, has the lead been generated because a meeting was initiated from somebody else? Has the lead been generated because a connection was formed between yourself, your colleague and a visitor or has this um, lead been generated because a visitor or a fellow exhibitor representative has shown interest in your company. Um, by filtering through these, you will be able to measure uh, which, which channel is more effective and probably optimize yourself or continue to use those channels for yourself. Company chat. This is also very important because um, under the company, you will have Every company has a chat in which a visitor can drop messages. This is also important because even though this area does not count as leads, it can be a great conversation starter. And if there is genuine interest from certain individuals, you can pass them off as leads to your fellow colleagues who can then go into the system, chase them, find, uh, set up a meeting and maybe convert into a good business deal. 
you can click on contacts this allows me to see how many leads have come through and on what basis those leads have come through i have obviously um, crossed my lead limit otherwise it would show me more I can also export leads at any given point of time. That means that I can click on, um, I can generate a CSV of everybody who has accepted team meetings with me or with my colleagues at a company level through Omnia Health Live. Please, um, please note, this does not issue any contact information. That means that even if you had confirmed leads through um, through virtual connections on Omnia Health Life, we will not be sharing phone numbers or email addresses on the CSV due to our data privacy laws. That's why we suggest that when you are in the chat room or in a virtual event meeting room with um, a fellow visitor, then please ensure that you share business cards, you share contact details so that you have it with you um, and you're not relying on this CSV to generate it for you at the end of the show. After you have seen these options that are available to an administrator, I want to quickly take you through the left panel on the home page and how you can utilize this. Recommended for you, this is on the basis of the information that you have filled in on your profile. The artificial intelligence um, then starts throwing up other profiles, other people that I might be interested in based on the company type, that means the industry to which my company belongs, the kind of business we do, um, the key terms I would have mentioned in the headline or in the summary of my company or my own profile, also the product categories. Clearly, the system also starts showing the match on which this was generated. There are three ways in which I may choose to interact with these people. I may choose to meet them if they really do fit into my profile. I may choose to show interest. If I show interest, then um, those people move into my interested list and also the other party um, is notified that I have shown interest and they will be, um, if they confirm my interest, that means they also respond and say we are interested, then they form a connection and they come into my connections. Under my connections, I may choose to chat with them or I may choose to directly meet them. Uh, the other way in which I can deal with my recommendations is I can skip them. If I skip them, then automatically the system understands um, those kind of profiles are not of uh, top interest to me and they start moving into my skip list. Towards the end of the show, if I suddenly want to revisit my skip list and I, want, I feel like I might have by mistake skipped somebody I might actually be interested in, um, I can go back into my skip list. Uh, click on skipped again and that goes back into my recommendations and moves out of my skip list. That is how recommendations work. However, you're not limited to your recommendations. You're not limited to what the system is throwing at you. You may also go beyond other recommendations and start looking for visitors under Omnia Health Community. Filter them by job title or by which industry they belong to, maybe even the country from where they are coming um, and also the products that they are interested in. The filters will help me uh, filter out other visitors that might fit into the profile and also feeds back into the artificial intelligence to tell them that these are the kind of people I'm more interested in meeting with. Remember, every time I initiate a meeting, um, I am taking one down from the pending meeting limit that I have. Remember, it is a pending meeting limit. That means that at any given point of time, those are the max number of pending meetings I can have in my calendar. Because we are pacing at almost 500 to 1000 new visitors in the platform every day, that means you will have more and more new people to figure out from, more and more new priorities uh, to look into and maybe change your meeting schedule accordingly. Hence, we need that participation from you as an exhibitor to utilize this to its most potential. You may also look for other exhibitors and their colleagues. You can go through the products that they have uploaded. You can go through their profiles here. You may go through their products um, and also generate an interest in fellow products. In case if you are somebody who wants to meet other exhibitors, that is also open to you. You may also choose to meet certain speakers if you found them interesting or maybe you attended one of their sessions um, and you can go through their profiles here. Apart from this, you will also have access to uh, your own schedule here. So when I click on my schedule, I will be able to see the meetings that I have already accepted and they have made way into my Outlook. 
Apart from this, I can also see the event agenda. That means that if I have sessions or if I have free time on my schedule that I want to enter and attend one of these sessions, you can see the speakers that are uh, connected to each of these sessions, the timing for all of these sessions are also mentioned here and I can add them to my schedule if I'm interested. For example, um, there is a session which has been sponsored by Beckman Coulter. If I click on add to schedule, that gets added to my schedule here and I will be able to, I will be notified um, just before that session goes live and I can then enter the session here. When the session does go live, there will be a small box here with a video play, which I can pause, play depending on my availability. That is how I can best use uh, the platform and ensure that all my time across the five days of the event um, is being used appropriately, especially more so if I have purchased a pro or a premium plan. I will ensure that I have uh, all of my colleagues added in the system and that I am uh, generating meetings for them and I'm generating leads for them and passing them to the right people. Uh, most of the platform has been made extremely intuitive, so you might be able to find solutions on your own. But in case if you are coming across um, issues or errors and you feel that your journey didn't look like the one that was displayed through this tutorial, then please write to us at OHL support at informa.com. One of our team members will be in touch with you immediately and try to solve it for you as soon as possible.